America votes and candidates are spending to get your vote, but does the amount matter when it comes to the ultimate winner? Ben Brown with our ABC 15 political team is looking at Arizona's U.S. Senate race and the dollars being spent. Congressman Ruben Gallego announcing a $19 million ad buy across Phoenix and Tucson starting in June. It's the most any Senate candidate in the country has made, according to the New York Times. That's why I'm running for Senate. The reason why people go sort of wall-to-wall -wall political if you have the resources is not so much because your ads get more effective the more they are, but you're just minimizing the ability of your opponents to communicate. So if you've got the resources, you are not only playing offense and extending your message, but you're playing defense by limiting what your opponents can communicate. Republican candidate Carrie Lake planning her own advertising blitz. According to Axios, her campaign will reserve $10 million for ads in the fall. Carrie Lake has had some spending here in Arizona, but very small. That $10 million, I think, is a little aspirational on her part. She hasn't raised nearly enough money to get there and her fund we'll see if her fundraising can meet that goal the latest finance report shows lake with about two and a half million dollars of cash on hand compared to gallego's nine and a half but how much does money matter in determining who wins an election so most of the time if you spend the most money you will win but um, that isn't just because you're spending money. Um, to get that money, you had to get out there and knock on doors, meet your constituents, ideally. I'm Carrie Lake, and I approve this message. According to Open Secrets, a nonpartisan organization that tracks campaign finance and lobbying data, in the 2022 Senate election cycle, the candidate who spent the most won 82% of the time. But there's a catch. People who fund their own campaigns do not typically win. Um, and I think it's probably because of that same factor at play, which is that if you're raising money the traditional way, you are interacting with human beings who ultimately will be able to support you at the polls. If you're spending your own money, you're not. That's your money. Um, so that's why you know money is critically important, but it isn't necessarily the story in and of itself. We'll have to wait to November to see if that trend continues. But first, Carrie Lake will have to beat Sheriff Mark Lamb in the Republican primary in July. Ben Brown, ABC 15, Arizona. Ben.